guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 20 of So I'm a Spider Show Us. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Hmm? Yeah. Got a problem with that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby, did you not know that you... I mean, like, we've gone 20-something episodes. You know you're a spider. That's you. Hey, I mean, you've done a lot of shit. Yeah. Honey, that's your hold back? If that's your hold back, I, I don't even want to know what it is at level one if you're using something like some level one magic. But technically, we've already seen that. <laughs> oh, shit. We really gonna fight over a spider, guys? I mean, you know, they let her live, walk around freely, nothing, sleep, look at her. <laughs> she don't care. She just hungry. Well, fuck. Now I'm trying to sit here and think. Hold on. We're on 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, we got four more weeks left. Just trying to think of how in the world, like, okay, Shun and everyone else is going to defeat his older brother get Suze back to normal and you know make the kingdom like normal again in four episodes because I, I mean ugh, god because okay as of right now it seems like inhumanly possible unless because oh god that see that makes me want to ask my friends who's read this series and be like, are they going to skip over some things? Because uh, something tells me with this show, they probably have. And a lot of people have watched this show and been a little bit of happy that they skipped over some things. But also pissed about they skipped over things. Because I know if it was me um, who's read a source material and then watching something that's supposed to be like an adaptation, even though it's not... 100% going to be everything you really want. Of course, yeah, you have the right to be pissed off about that. Hell, I talked about this last week in the Garden of Sinners movie 6 and people got pissed at me for that.
You know, even if you try to bring her in by force, she might end up killing you guys, right? Just specifically, y'all. Not, you know, um, Sophia and her family and her guards. And also, you can't really start a war in like four, start and finish a war in four episodes. But I mean, they could. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe, but even if you do relocate somewhere else, they're probably still going to find you. Yeah. Was she pissed? Mm. See, I wouldn't want to go toe to toe with her. Do you have something to say this time instead of like, you know, coming and then leaving and shit? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. Oh. Gil? <laughs> Why, though?
You may as well just go ahead and say yeah. I mean, plus, in a way, you don't really need to watch Sophia. You're not going to attack her because of this, right? You sure you want to do that, though? Oh. Yeah. Did the elves attack him? Something about this is a little fishy. Yeah, it's a fucking trap. Uh-oh. Blink a mirror and a spider webs. <laughs> oh, girl. He was poison. Of course. I mean, you know, you could just go ahead and bury the body because that ain't the only one. I mean, because she's only doing it to protect herself, so. No. Maybe, I mean... Great. I mean, we literally just talked about this. And then boom. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, they got the CGI just like Overlord, but you know what? At least the CGI ain't that bad. I mean, <laughs> we could talk about the Overlord CGI, but like... <laughs> Huh. You did what you had to do. Don't be mad at it. It's okay. Sometimes you gotta kill a character, you know? I 
I mean, you could help if you want to. So we're really, I mean, okay, hold on, wait, because I'm about to say, yeah, we're going into cannibalism right now, but no, she, she ain't human anymore, she a spider, so, I mean, it would make the most sense for her to eat a spider, I mean, be human, but, like, damn, <laughs> at the same time, it's like, no, no, thank you. Hmm. Everything around them is just dying. Can y'all really handle this, though? God, I'm so scared. Because it's only, like, still, once again, it's a small-ass group. Like, seriously. And it happened all so quickly. Like still, that is just so fucked up. And still just knowing that they'll never, any of them, the one who's fucking survived, will never see their families again. really would like to see for like a future isekai show is that someone dies and instead of them going into like mm, kind of because in a way you can still consider this like medieval past i would like someone to be reincarnated into the future <laughs> where technology is like oh so fucking good
I don't like that smirk though. Mm-hmm. Or kidnapping. But still, even though she thought it was right, it's still wrong. I mean, and I get that because you care for your students. Any teacher would do the same thing on your spot. No, you're just a good, you're a good teacher that just possibly made a really bad mistake. And you're paying for it. But to me, it's not bad. She made a life or death decision about her students. It was either because of the fact that she had the point to see the life, the past, the present, and the future of her students. Making that decision of, okay, should I let my students live out their lives happily until they die or should I take them against their will, kidnapping them, also, you know, buying their off, them all from their families and ish, and keep them in a safe haven? Yeah, it is a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, because she she's a teacher, and she wants what's best for her students. When you, as all of us who's went to school, hell, even college, um, but really, like, let, let's talk about more of, like, from elementary school up into high school. Your teachers are like your other parents. Those teachers are the ones that you can always go to whenever you can't go to your actual family. Um, sometimes going to the school counselor, nurse, whoever, maybe a principal. I don't know how many people who had a really good, like, relationship or friendship with the principal of their school. Um, what I say I did? I had, like, a kind of a friendship with my principal but not to the point where it was like oh hey i'm gonna call you by your first name but like he he and then like a couple of she's like understood me but i mean that was because i was a good ass student but yeah <laughs> Now, would that be mother? Or, that's got to be mother, yeah. It's fucked up. Hold on. Excuse me. It's fucked up that this is about to happen. But, like, yeah, continuing as I was saying, you know, with her saying, am I, a good, am I a good teacher? Like I said, she's a good teacher that made the most hard decision that anyone has to make. When it comes to any situation where a teacher has to choose between protecting, um their students versus themselves, they're always going to protect their students first because their students are like their kids and such. And they're going to do everything that they can to, you know, make sure that everyone gets out of the situation safely and such. I mean, because she she's a teacher who had no kids and such. I mean, because there are some teachers that I have met <laughs> in my school career that didn't really like kids. Some kids, not all kids, but some, because there's always that one, two, three, four kids or teenagers or whatever that always want to be like the class crown or the troublemaker. And um, they only really maybe gaslight or um, write up the teacher just to get them angry and everything. And, and sometimes that's not really cool, so I don't always really do that. But, you know, no one ain't going to listen to that shit, but someone's going to always do it. It's about, you know, if you see a student like struggling and striving and seeing what's wrong with them and getting to know them 
on a personal level but not too too personal because it seems like she personally knew her kids individually and such and so she knew like maybe their wants their hopes their wishes everything that they wanted for the rest of their life and for it all to abruptly end for every single one of them all at the same time and to restart in a new life you know and her seeing them of course she had to make this decision but in the end her students hate her and the fact is that she hid it from Shun and everybody else for such a long time and then also specifically like Sophia and I'm guessing the demon lord as well because she's got to be one um she at least has to be a student so she has to be one of the one of the names that like possibly didn't get mentioned no one of the names of the kids that died I'm from what I think from what somebody told me like a couple of weeks ago I'm not 100% sure I'll have to go back and comments and look so I, I mean but yeah of course with now officially 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, so four weeks left with this show and how they're going to do a war in like four episodes. I can see them getting it done in like two, maybe. I'm not 100% sure on how in the world they're going to do this, but yeah, of course we gotta wait. But I mean, for, for this episode really this week, this was a really good one. Still sad, I mean, especially with like the teacher's backstory and learning about everything and her knowing stuff for such a long time and the reason of why she kept it a secret. And, you know, I, I honestly sympathize with her. I w if I was in that same route, if I had, you know, if I was like, yeah, I'm going to become a teacher. But if I was in her shoes and if I had to make that decision, of course I would make it. I would say yes. Even if my students were going to end up hating me, at least they're safe. Even if they're going to be there for the rest of their lives and, you know, be imprisoned and everything. Which, it, it is like that for them because it, it's totally like that. They kind of really said that last week. At least they're safe. But I would still say at the same time, still let them be free. Let them go out somewhere and such and have a bodyguard and I'm just like please like now like they shouldn't be just trapped in this one little big old bubble and they can't go out and go see like the great beyond because let's say they run into you know their new family and this is that the third and they want to go home so it's a lot of things like especially giving me a lot of promise neverland vibes with this like oh my fucking god but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 20 of so i'm a spider so what <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for episode 21 bye guys